Hello children, in today's maths class, we will learn how to fill in the placeholders by addition and subtraction. Fill in the placeholders. Now children, can you see these two boxes? Yes, we have to fill them up by adding two numbers to make it into number 7. But which number to fill it up so that we will get number 7? The first thing we need to do is to draw seven lines. So let's draw seven lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. After making seven lines, we need to break the lines into two parts by putting a plus sign. Children, we can put plus sign anywhere between these seven lines. All right. So if I put plus sign here, then it breaks into two parts. Now we will first count the left side and then put this in the first box. One, two. Now we'll put this number in the first box. Next, let's count the right side. One, two, three, four, five. And put this number in the second box. Therefore, 2 plus 5 equals to 7. Let me repeat one second, children. First step is to draw the lines of the given number. Alright? Second step is to separate the lines by putting a plus sign. And the third step is to count the numbers separately that is on the left side and on the right side by putting the numbers in each boxes. Alright, children? Now, children, let's try another sum, all right? Tell me, children, first what we need to do? Yes, we need to draw the lines. How many lines do we need to draw? That's right, nine lines. So, we will draw nine lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. After that, what do we need to do? We need to break the lines by putting a plus sign. Children, we can put a plus sign anywhere we want, alright? So let me put the plus sign here. Now the lines are separated into two parts. So let's first count the left side. 1, 2, 3, 4. And put the number 4 in the first box. Now let's count the right side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And put it in the second box. Alright. Therefore, 4 plus 5 equals to 9. Alright children, let's do one last sum of addition. Alright. First, we need to draw how many lines? 6 lines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And put a plus sign anywhere. So let me put it here. Let's count the left side. 1, 2. And put this number 2 in the first box. Now let's count the right side. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now I'll put it in the second box. Therefore, 2 plus 4 equals to 6. I hope everyone is clear with the addition placeholders. Yes. Okay, next let's proceed to subtraction placeholders. Alright. Now we will learn how to fill in the placeholders by subtraction. Alright. Children, look at these two boxes. Yes. In these two boxes, we need to put two numbers to get number 5. So children, which two numbers we should subtract to get number 5? The best way to do is we need to draw a number line. Alright? In this number line, we can pick any number which is bigger than number 5. Suppose if I pick number 7 and circle it, we will put this number 7 in the first box. Alright? Now, which number we should subtract from number 7 to get the answer? 5. 
to get an answer 5, we have to do backward counting 5 times. Alright? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Where does it stop? It stops at number 2. So we will put number 2 in the second box. Therefore, 7 minus 2 equals to 5. Got it, children? Let me repeat it once again. First step is to draw a number line. Second step is to select any number which is bigger than our answer, that is 5. And put the selected number that is bigger number in the first box. Third step is to do backward counting of the given number and circle the number where it stops. Then put the number in the second box, alright? Now children, let's try to do another sum. Tell me children, first what we need to do? Yes, we need to pick any number that is bigger than number 3. Let's pick number 10. Now what should we do? We need to put a circle at number 10 and put it in the first box. After that, we will start counting backwards. How many times? 3 times. 1, 2, 3. So where does it stop? It stops at number 7. So we will put number 7 in the second box. Alright? Number 7 in the second box. Therefore, 10 minus 7 equals to 3. Alright, children? Children, let's try to do one last sum, alright? First, we will pick any number bigger than number 4. Let's pick number 7. Now, what shall we do? We need to put a circle at number 7 and put it in the first box. After that, we will count backward. How many times, children? We will count 4 times. 1, 2, 3, 4. And it stops at which number? Yes, number 3. So we will put this number 3 in the second box. Therefore, 7 minus 3 equals to 4. Alright, children? Children, there is another way of doing this. Alright? First, we need to pick a bigger number more than 5. Suppose if we pick number 10, we need to put number 10 in the first box. Then how to find the number in the second box? Instead of doing backward counting, we can subtract number 10 with 5. If we subtract number 10 with 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Subtract with 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. How many are left now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, we will put number 5 in the second box. Therefore, 10 minus 5 equals to 5. Children, we can do in this way also. Alright? By using both addition and subtraction, I hope now everyone is clear how to fill in the placeholders. Yes? Now children, all of you turn to page number 42 and do the sum as your classwork.